today we are going to learn about presentation of rainfall data rainfall data observed by non recording rain gauges is called point rainfall most rainfall data is collected in this way only so this will be our first talk secondly we will study the mass curve of rainfall which is produced by recording rain gauges we will also develop a bar graph called hydrograph from the mass curve of rainfall station rainfall is also called point rainfall the rainfall data is observed daily in millimeters or centimeters this is a non recording rain gauge rainwater is collected in this bottle we can convert the volume of water collected in this bottle to millimeters using this calibrated jar all of this has been explained in an earlier video the link for which is given in the top right corner of your screen as well as in the description of this video the observed daily data is listed for various periods daily weekly monthly seasonal and annual you can get daily rainfall data from indian meteorological department in pune or from the rain gauges of state agricultural departments in india this is what daily meteorological data looks like for one station we can focus on rainfall data here 1.4 mm of rain occurred on one day february 6th 2023 for rest of the month there was no rain another type of data available from rain gauge stations is the mass curve of rainfall the mass curve of rainfall is plot of accumulated rainfall against time this graph is generated by a siphon type rain gauge if you want to know how this graph was made you can watch the video where i explain the working of siphon type rain gauge the link for the siphon type rain gauge video is given in the top right corner of your screen as well as in the description of this video let us discuss the mass curve in detail here time is on x axis and cumulative rainfall in millimeters is on the y axis the curve rises at the start and then becomes parallel to the x axis indicating that the cumulative rainfall is not increasing which implies the rain has stopped after this red part the curve starts rising again indicating that rain has started the curve before the red part represent the first storm and the curve after the red part represent the second storm let's list all the observations we can get directly or indirectly from the mass curve the first direct observation is the onset and cessation of any storm onset means when the rain starts if you see this curve here the rain starts at 11 am and continues until 1 pm after 1 pm it stops and starts again at 3 pm this means for the first storm the onset of rain is at 11 am and the cessation is at 1 pm also we can observe magnitude and duration of the storm for the first storm the magnitude is 8 mm and the duration is 2 hours indirectly we can find the intensity from the mass curve by finding the slope we will do this in detail first let's define the intensity of rainfall intensity of the rainfall is the ratio of total amount of rain expressed as rainfall depth falling during a given period to the duration of that period we can find intensity of rainfall by taking any two points on the mass curve the depth of the rainfall and the time between these two points are noted and by applying this formula which is the slope of mass curve we can find the intensity intuitively intensity is like speed and has the same units let's find the intensity from a mass curve here time is given in hours and minutes format on the x axis and cumulative rainfall is in millimeters on the y axis take two points and we need to find the slope between these two points to get the intensity this will be the average intensity as we are assuming the mass curve is a straight line between these two points whereas it may not be exactly a straight line we need to find the difference between the ordinates of these two points this ordinate is 68 mm and this one is 48 mm the duration between these two points is calculated by subtracting 730 from 740 which is 10 minutes 
So the intensity is 68 minus 48 divided by 10 minutes. We can convert millimeter per minute to millimeter per hour by multiplying it with 60 minutes by 1 hour. Here minutes and minutes will cancel out and we are left with millimeters per hour. This is a very convenient method for unit conversion. So the average intensity comes out to be 120 millimeters per hour between our chosen points. Similarly, we can find intensities for multiple pairs of points. When we plot these intensities against the time interval as a bar graph, this plot is called a hydrograph. The word hydrograph is derived from Greek word hytos, which means rain. Once we plot the hydrograph, we can get additional information from it. We can directly see maximum rainfall intensity and time period of its occurrence. Here it is 198 millimeter per hour and it occurs between 7.50 am and 8 am. Also we can see minimum rainfall intensity and the time period of its occurrence. It is 36 mm per hour and occurs between 8.20 am and 8.30 am. Indirectly we can find the amount of rainfall in different time periods by finding the area of these bars. For example, the area of this bar can be found by multiplying the length which is 198 millimeter per hour by the breadth which is 10 minutes. Multiply it by 1 hour by 60 minutes for unit conversion. Here minutes will cancel out with minutes and hours will cancel out with hours and we are left with 33 millimeters of rainfall which occurs from 7.50 am to 8 am. If we find area of all the bars and add them, we can find area under the hydrograph. It will yield total rainfall. Let's drive a complete hydrograph from the mass curve. It is easier to do calculations if the mass curve is available in tabular form. This tabular data is obtained from the mass curve at 10 minutes interval. We can find the intensities for the time periods in tabular form. We'll leave one row between the time periods in the table. This will help in understanding that the calculated intensity will belong to the whole period, not for any specific time. Since the mass curve is a cumulative curve, we'll find incremental rainfall, which is equivalent to finding the difference in ordinates. The incremental rainfall for the first period from 7 to 7.10 am is 19 mm minus 0 mm equal to 19 mm. Similarly, for the second period, we can subtract 19 mm from 41 mm, which will give 22 millimeters of rainfall. The next one is 7 millimeters and so on. Now let us find the intensity for the first time period, which is from 7 to 7.10 am. So we will divide the incremental rainfall of 19 mm by 10 minutes, which is difference between 7.10 and 7 am. Again, to convert millimeter per minute to millimeter per hour, multiply it with 60 minutes by 1 hour, then these minutes and minutes will cancel out and we will get an intensity equal to 114 millimeters per hour. For 7.10 to 7.20, we again have a 10 minute interval, but now the incremental rainfall is 22 mm. So we will change 19 to 22 here and we'll get an intensity equal to 132 mm per hour. Similarly, we can find intensities for rest of the periods. Now we can plot the hydrograph. So between 7 to 7.10, the intensity is 114 millimeter per hour. For 7.10 to 7.20, it is 132 millimeter per hour, then 42 millimeter per hour and so on. I have earlier said that the area under the hydrograph gives total rainfall. Let's check that. 
the area under the first bar will be 114 mm per hour multiplied by 10 minutes multiplied by 1 hour by 60 minutes which will give area equals to 19 mm. Similarly, we can find areas of all the bars. Adding all these areas will give us 160 millimeters of rainfall which is same as the total rainfall from the mass curve. This can be seen here. Next, we will discuss the applications of mass curves and hydrographs. We will use hydrograph to calculate infiltration indices in future videos. Hydrographs are also used to find design flood which is required for the design of hydraulic structures like dams, bridges and culverts. Hydrographs are also used for flood forecasting to predict extreme flood and for water source management. But here is one problem. Most of the rain gauges are non-recording rain gauges. Therefore, the most common type of data available is daily rainfall data. Mass curves are not readily available since there are fewer recording rain gauges. So how can we find a mass curve for non-recording rain gauges? This can be done by using models, empirical formulae or by using mass curve of adjacent recording rain gauges. Let us summarize what we have done so far. We have seen what a mass curve is and then derived the hydrograph from the mass curve which is a plot of intensities against time interval. Then we found the area under the hydrograph. In future videos, we will also find aerial rainfall from point rainfall. Thank you very much.